tonight. Lawrence tries to park. Mike has some donuts. And I compare cards. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays where we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint just for a change because that's what we always play on this channel uh, because it's so much fun yes yes oh yes it is um, ooh, and I'm trying to debate whether I should try and take that car in front of me and I think I probably should so I'm going to carry on following it so my mission is to go and try and take all of the checkpoints as ever the hunters are trying to stop me by um, by tracking me down working out who, who I am and, and, uh, and shooting me full of bullets now, they've, in order to stop them having to search the entire city, there is a circle that appears on their maps that they can use to try and work out roughly where I am. It doesn't tell them exactly where I am, as you can see by the radius that keeps popping up in the uh, in the bottom corner of the screen. It gives them a rough approximation as to, to gives them a, a vague idea of where I am in the city. What is that? Can't do it. Oh, it's Mike. That's why it's doing. <laughs> I see. I think he's going to have identified me now. Um, yes, he's following me. All right. Unfortunately, he's in a Schwarzer, which is a pretty quick car. Uh, was it sh Shaft? What, what, yeah, whichever one that is. But I also am in a sports car, so I'm going to try and get across a decent chunk of the city, um, and actually maybe somewhere down towards that uh, checkpoint. And we'll see if we we'll see if I can outrun him in this. There's two of them now, but they seriously, with the green one, Mark seriously overcooked that corner there. So he's gone off into the. Um, uh, into the scenery. I didn't quite pull that corner off as I meant to. This isn't where I meant to go, but you know, it'll it'll do, it'll do. So we'll come along here. I don't think Mike is still with me. No, I don't see him at all. So I'm going to come out here and we're going to get onto the highway here and boop, boop that apparently and head off this way. Now, it'll probably be fairly obvious to them if they're paying attention that I've got onto the highway because of the speeds I'm doing. But they don't know where I'm going. So I've got that advan that significant advantage. Uh, that because they don't get to know where the checkpoints I'm aiming for are. Only I'm told about those. And that and that means they can't set up ambushes or anything like that for me. They have to just try and use the circle to find me. And then go from there. Um, and this is so, so in a way it's a bit more like the old survival mode that we used to play, where um they th there aren't any objectives, they just have to try and find me based on based on the circle. Um, but it has the advantage that I, I have something to something to do, some some objectives for me, so it keeps things a bit more interesting. Now I've been wanting to do this for a little while, um, and it's not the ideal time right now, unfortunately, um, because of where the checkpoints are. But I think if I come along here like this, I'm hoping um, over here a bit. I'm hoping quite a lot that I'll be able to grab a jet ski or something like that. Because at the moment, we're playing on a mode... Okay, well maybe I'll just get this. Can I get this one? No, I can't get on these because they're on a thing. Oh, those ones I can get. Right. Um, because we're playing a game mode where whatever vehicle I get into, the hunters are put into one of the same class. So if I get onto this jet ski, they are all going to end up on boats... And because they're probably they were probably in cars beforehand, they're going to end up on boats, on roads, and I don't know whether you've ever tried it, but boats and roads tend to be a fairly poor combination. So I'm going to have essentially rendered their vehicles useless. Um, now I don't know whether I'm going to be able to really do anything with that um, advantage because the checkpoints I've got at the moment aren't particularly close to the water. However, somewhere around here, I don't know, oh there's, there is a way in here, yes. I was going to say somewhere around here there is a way in that takes you in towards sort of Chinese monument and that sort of area. Um, is this it? Where does this go? Now I need, to, I need to be very careful with this because they do know roughly where I am. So if they can get themselves in a position where they've got a shot at me, then I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, and if I beach my um, jet ski, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Because, they, yeah, they know roughly where I am. So if they see a jet ski bimbling along where pe where jet skis don't normally go, and it's somewhere in the circle, 
then they're going to get very very suspicious indeed and they're going to um they're going to just attack they, then they're going to shoot me with a sniper rifle or something and so i don't really want that to happen so i'm going to try and get over towards ghetto a bit by going up the storm drain here now they all know that they're in boats they're going to be watching the map as well so they'll know i'm on this they'll they'll know that i'm in the storm drain so they're going to have a pretty good idea of where i am so the problem is if I'm not careful, there will be a welcoming committee wherever I go to. However, I'm now here. I now abandon the jet ski. They're going to, again, they're going to have still have some good ideas about what's going on because I've stopped moving at high speed or the relatively high speed I was moving at on the jet ski. So they're going to probably now know that I've got off the jet ski. Now the question is, is it cheating for me to go and grab the next checkpoint now without getting back in a car? The answer is I'm 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 not sure. However, I so, so I'm going I'm going. Ooh, let's no, let's take this one. Let's take a sports classic. This could end up with me being in a very very difficult chase later, but I think it's worth a try because these are at least an interesting car. Oh, and I'm being shot at by various gang members because of course I am. I'm in the ghetto and I've just stolen a car, and that's what always happens. Um, but I think I've got away from them now. I'm going to call that. I'm going to just go for this checkpoint at this point because I think. That's an amusing enough way of doing it that I don't want to give them the uh, the chance to uh, to catch up and <laughs> and ruin all my hard work on the jet ski. So I'll just keep going this way now. I need to keep my eyes peeled for sports classics. Although actually, to an extent, I say I need to keep my eyes peeled for sports classics. It's not so important because their cars will be brightly coloured and therefore really really obvious. Um, it's them who are going to be struggling and having to try and remember what what classes various different cars come in so we'll see how that goes for them right now I'm waiting for the next checkpoint um, I'm gonna head up head this way because the odds are the next checkpoints are going to be sort of further north than I am Ooh, oil fields I'm quite close to that okay they've got quite good cars now um, because they, they'll all be in sports classics as well because of the whole sort of like that one maybe um, they didn't look like a sports classic, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to worry about slowing down for them. But I'm also, again, in the interest of fairness, I'm not going to blaze across the city flat out. I'm going to drive at sort of sensible speeds. They are also going to know I'm going for the oil fields checkpoint, probably, based on the location of the circle. So I need to get it quickly and then get out of here. Nothing behind. Let's go, and I'll head this way. This takes me back. This will take me over the massive bridge over towards airport. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I've now got a 30-second wait before it tells me where the next checkpoint is. That's to in that used to be uh, there in order to allow the hunters to sort of regroup around the next checkpoint. Back when we allowed them to essentially set ambushes, but since we don't allow that anymore, the um, the wait period is a bit less meaningful. But we'll. Um, I thought I heard engines. <laughs> I got paranoid. So there's yeah, there's still a 30 second period before I find out where the next checkpoint is. So let's um, see how that. Let's. I could sit here for a moment and wait for that to um, to expire. Oh, there we go. Five ways and life invader. They're both miles away. Okay. I think this calls for a bit of time on the highway because it's so far away that I want to get over there quickly. Now if I go somewhere on the highway, they're going to know about it because my blob on the maps will start moving much more quickly than normal. Um, but that's okay, I think. Um, I mean, I could do same sort of... Actually, let's let's do sort of fitting in with everyone else who's on the highway type speeds. And I think I need to come off here. Yes, I do. Good. This is this is the way to go. This will take me round and then on the, on the westbound highway. And if I go along at... What sort of speed am I doing? I'm doing 60 miles an hour, apparently. Is that an acceptable highway speed in around here? I, I'm not going flat out anyway, so hopefully I'll I'll blend in reasonably well because of that. Um, I'm leaving those cars behind a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I've actually... To be honest, I probably should have stayed on the other highway and gone a bit further north. Well, that would... I'm trying to remember. The, I'm trying to remember the layout of the, the highway system because that might well have taken just taken me way outside the city and wouldn't have been quite so good. Um, okay, that car was that car that's just gone off the on, off ramp was going faster than me. It caught up, and I'm catching up with this one here. So that makes me think I am doing approximate, approximately reasonable highway speeds, which hopefully means that even if they're looking at me, 
they won't, even if they're looking at this bit of highway, they won't spot me and attack me. We shall see how that goes. Again, I'm in a, a reasonably obvious car, unfortunately, because the, um, the Pegas, was it? The P Pegale um, is quite obviously, is one of the better, better, better known, more obvious, I guess, sports classics. So they're probably going to be suspicious of it if they do see it. But it's got me all the way across the city, so this is going pretty well. I think if I come around here now and take this exit, so I come off off the ramp, off along here, and this will bring me off at, ooh, actually right at five ways, that's perfect. I sort of don't want to be in this car anymore because I feel I've used it quite a bit and it's a bit too obvious, but then it's not bad. I could switch into that, um, yeah, let's switch into that blister in front of me. Let's have this one. Mine now. So I'll take that and then immediately take this turn. That'll throw them off a little bit because they'll also all have suddenly been shoved in unexpected cars. And I can take this checkpoint and keep going. Right. Uh, oh, green light. That's convenient. So I'm, once again, I'm going to head back towards sort of the more busy parts of the city, I think. Because I reckon this is a um, this the, the the next checkpoint is more likely to be this way than the other way. I'll probably want to turn right here. So actually, let's stop at these lights oh my God. Um, and wait for the next checkpoint to appear and make a plan based on that. Let's actually stop at the line instead of way back from, miles back from it. There's a green car. It's, oh, it's turning around and going back again. Excellent. Oh, so now I now need to get to beach or pier entrance. So this is one that where it would be ideal to use the boats. But I've kind of done that, and I feel that was a an amusing prank isn't quite the right word. It was a sort of a funny thing to do to the hunters. Um, is there another one? No, no more hunters. Okay, I'm turning around then. Clonk. Um, I feel it was funny to use the boats once. Doing it again wouldn't be as funny. Despite, So I think I kind of wasted the idea. I should have done it when I was going towards a, um, a very water-related uh, checkpoint. So that's a bit of a shame. But never mind. I've got my blister. This will do adequately. I don't see anyone behind me. Let's shoot across here. I'm definitely getting convinced that these, the the secret to playing this game effectively is to go is to drive around a bit faster than I have been before. Um, the way I used to drive, just sticking with sticking with the traffic laws all the time, was was okay. I mean, if you if you can drive just perfectly like an AI then it probably works quite well. <clears throat> but I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not good enough at driving. So actually it turns out that just getting away from checkpoints um, and problem areas as quickly as possible. Ooh, let's have a coquette. That'll be fun. What was that? Okay. No, it's alright. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm not good enough at driving to blend in like an AI and there are quite a lot of other clues around as well. That's clearly a hunter who hasn't recolored his car yet. Tut tut. Um, let's get out of here. Now the Coquette is obviously a nice quick car, so that should be good for getting away in. The only downside is that the hunters all also have nice quick cars, because we're all in sports cars at the moment, because I picked a sports car. So it's my fault, um, but it does mean that everyone's in the same rather overpowered. Oh, here are all their boats. <laughs> um, oh, and another one. <laughs> Who left all these boats here? <laughs> um, what was I saying? So yes, we're all in overpowered cars, so that I think actually makes getting away probably easier, but it does make things a lot, generally just a lot riskier. Let's come up here and I really hope they haven't seen me pull into here. Get out the car, get out the car. Okay, that's the car abandoned. Now, they did see me right at the beginning of the run, so I think it's probably going to be... If I don't want to do too much running around on foot because they've identified my character model. I thought, oh, I thought there was a car in this driveway. Must have been somewhere else. Why is that car stopped there and with the door open? I'm getting paranoid. Um... Yeah, so I think they've seen seen and identified my character model and will probably recognise me if they see me again. So I'd rather not do too much on foot stuff. 
Now this is a reasonably quiet road here. So I think I'm probably going to be okay nipping out and grabbing a car here. Like that one or that one. That, one, that one's a bit too good. I don't want to get into a I don't want this to get into I don't want to get into a Oh no. Did he see me? Did he see me? Hide. Hide, 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 hide. Yep, I hear door. I hear car doors. I think he saw... He saw me running. Damn it. That's really annoying. Can I hide in here? Let's turn the circle off. I can't turn the circle off. What's going on? Hacks. Yeah. So he's doing that. He's now shooting to try and attract the rest of the hunters. Oh, I can't climb over this hedge. What? Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Okay, he's pulled out back out of there again. Hopefully that means he thinks I've got back in my car or I don't know what he's thinking. What's going on out there? Oh, this is tense. That was really bad luck on my part there, with the with Tristan showing up like that, just as I was. I didn't hide very well either. I yeah, it's because I was about to run across the road to try and get that Prius like this, which I think is going to be unlocked because I saw an AI get out of it. There we go. Oh, right, that green car ahead of me—that's a hunter as well. So I'm going to sit here for a moment. Wait for my heart rate to return to normal. Oh, that was a bit tense. I always find that... I don't know what it is about GTA's um, first person... No, not first person. Uh, on foot controls don't seem to be... Well, I, I seem to struggle with them. Um, oh, Max has dropped off. That's interesting. Um, I wonder what's going on there. Um, yes, GTA's on foot controls. I see, always seem to struggle with them. I don't know how much of that is me being bad at the game. How I think I think what I actually think it is is I think it's because the game is designed to be played really designed to be played with a controller. It doesn't work quite as well with a uh, with the mouse and keyboard. Although even though you can aim far far better, okay, Mike is going the other way. Good. Um, even though you can aim better with a with a mouse, it has some funny moments every so often when you're trying to do things. Um, so it's 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 tricky, <laughs> should we say? <clears throat> Boom! Four checkpoints done. Right. This is going quite well so far. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going down there because there's only there aren't enough ways in and out of the beach area. So I'm going to go this way and try and get back into the main part of the city, which I basically have now. This is this is this is good. Yeah, Max is definitely having some problems. I guess we'll sort those out uh, a bit later. But I mean. <laughs> Um, I suppose having slightly fewer hunters gives me a slightly better chance. Uh, I shouldn't really look at it like that, but... Doc's Entrance and Origin. Mm. Origin is a good one to go for, actually. Let's take this F620 that's next to me. Um, and get up there quickly. Put the gun away. Because this is a bit, a bit of a quicker car. Yes, it's going to put them all in coupes as well. But I think if we end up in a chase getting away from the final checkpoint... I think I'm going to be glad that I've got something a bit better. Um, now there is a chance that one of them will end up in a Windsor, uh, which we basically outlawed because it was over oh, seriously overkill, uh, not overkill, over um, over, over spec. It weighed an absolute ton, was really really fast, and was just just a completely imbalanced car for a, for a hunter to have. So we've changed the rules around so that they don't get them. So it'd be quite entertaining if I've if I've now just fiddled the rules in such a way that they do get one. But yeah, it's a, it's a risk I'm prepared to take. Right, Origin is... I can never remember exactly where it is. It's somewhere up in North Vinewood, I think. But not actually in the North Vinewood... Um, um, not actually where the North Vinewood checkpoint is. Because it's a, a different checkpoint. Um, why is someone getting out of the car there? I hope it wasn't a hunter. don't think it was. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's over this way. Doop. It's really hard to drive the F620 at normal road speeds. <laughs> I may have the same trouble problem in real life occasionally. <laughs> What's through there? That's worth knowing about. Um, yeah, so it's up here somewhere in North Vinewood. If I can sneak up and grab that, then I'm in the perfect car and in the perfect place to just do a get out of here, uh, flee for the uh, for the final hunt, and, and just hopefully get away from the uh, 
from the hunters and, uh, and and complete it. So this is a good place to have a final checkpoint. There's a, that was Mark going through there. So let's not follow him because get out of the way. Goodness sake, <laughs> AI drivers are blooming awful sometimes. Right. So generally, I'm a quite a strong believer in it being best to take the uh, smaller roads around the city where when you reasonably can when it's um when they're all going in more or less the same direction now the hunters probably know this but i think there's a certain amount of sort of just inertia and it just tends to bring you on to the the bigger roads because they're the main arteries that go around so unless i'm con i have the same problem unless i'm concentrating quite hard on sticking to the uh, smaller roads i do find myself ending up on the on the bigger ones just because it's the easiest way to get around. So there we go. There's the checkpoint. One, two, three, four, five. Bang. Don't know why it said ten in it, but it did. So now, now we have the final for the final hunt, and this is where I have to st get get and stay a certain distance away from the hunters for a certain amount of time. And you know, one of these days, I'm going to actually find out what those numbers are. But it sort of doesn't matter. Um, basically, what it means is I just put my foot down. And try and get away. The point of this is, it's an opportunity for me to prove that I'm not that we're not currently in a chase, or for the hunters to prove that we currently are in a chase and they're keeping up with me. So as long as I'm able to get a decent distance away from them, it shows that they're not sticking with me. It's not a chase anymore, and therefore I have I can say that I've taken the checkpoint and well and truly got away from them. So any moment now, there should be a thunderous explosion and a, and a, um, a string of death messages coming up on the side of the screen as I uh, as I complete as I win like that just like that excellent so that has been manhunt checkpoint and there've been a f I managed a few shenanigans there the boat one was probably my favorite of those but I think that might be a, a funny once to um, to borrow a line from um, the moon is a harsh mistress um, but I'm sure I'll come up with some more funny things to do in, in, in a future episode as well so, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to stick around on the channel. There are lots of other videos to see, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Thinking origin, maybe. Uh, I might have him in a red car by west side of shopping centre, heading south. Yep. Yeah, this is him. I'm behind you. Heading south, going towards Dogleg. Driving down the pavement. Uh, turning right. Ah, uh, heading west along the north side of. Artillery. Uh, turning north. Uh, not the first, but the second after artillery, I think. Is this into the tunnel? Uh, no, I think. Oh, I lost him. Uh, it's too fast. It wasn't tunnel, so the next. Find that. Circle jump south. Uh, beach is now inside. Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> um, I'm up peer, approaching pier entrance on foot. Yeah. So, big fan of that. Nicely done. <laughs> Do you know what that means, though? I don't think we thought this through. I assume we've all jumped out of our boats, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that means there are a number of barricades all around the, all around the city. Yeah, he's out, out to sea. So, for example, yeah. I take the opportunity to jump into a couple of vehicles and just boat them up <laughs> in key places. Uh, if you want to hang around vehicles then, and keep doing that and stay in a vehicle at the end, so that we know when he's out of a vehicle. Okay. Because that's going to be valuable. Heading down. I'm on the beach now, so I might be able to get a boat. Oh, like oh! Oh, <laughs> There's an AI that wants to carjack me, but I'm on a boat and he's really confused. <laughs> <laughs> I want He's still there looking at me, squaring up like, yeah. I want you, but... <laughs>
<laughs> there is no door. I assume that's you, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, you see him. <laughs> I'll help you. Thank you. Might go for uh, airport. I'm just still on the boat. I'm happy. Right. So I've found his sports car on the east side of the uh, pier. There's a bunch of jet skis here, so I'm gonna hop in a jet ski. So I don't know exactly where his circle is at the moment. Over by uh, Paul's airport. Right. Okay. Still in the water, I assume. This has jumped again, so he must be. You realise what's gonna happen, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do. I haven't thought. I haven't thought it through, have I? <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm with you on this. Yeah, just drive near to the coast. <laughs> yeah, any this can only end well. The circle is will be useful. Uh, the yeah. circle is currently centered like on arena. the arena. Yep. Yeah. So he's on the canal between the docks and uh, arena, probably. Yeah, the two waterways are the... Oh, he's now got oh. out and into a... Sports it's Classic. Good. It is... I got the... The Mexican version of it. <laughs> so yeah, you'll get a... Arena. You'll get a random car from the same category. Yeah, it, it's the... It's the... Ooh. It's the one with the guitar in the back. So Mike, I think the only one actually around at the moment. Mark, Mike, take note. Just heard a checkpoint get taken. Oh yeah. What? That's cheating. That's not like in the fair category he's claiming to be in. <laughs> no, exactly. In, in in fairness, given the strat that he employed there, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty I'll good actually, planning, actually. Yeah. I will agree that it was fun. Also, th this comparison of cars seems a little unfair. Yeah. <laughs> so much shoot when he's shooting. Sorry, Mark. I'm not Lawrence. <laughs> True, what's <laughs> that? <laughs> 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 Do you have to go and find Max now? Oh, oh zip up! Armored Karuma! <laughs> uh, bunch, of, bunch of traffic near uh, Rockford Church. Uh, did someone I'm in the... collide with someone? Uh, yes. Oh, so this is you, is it, Pete? This is me, yes. And now I'm. Yeah, leave me alone. Change colour. Circle jump to the top. Oh, who would be chasing? Is that Lawrence then? That's, 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 that's the intent, intent. yeah. I was chasing him and then you, yeah, T-boned me. I feel like I'm too far away of you guys. I'm near uh, Art Gallery. Is that in the... I've got a car heading very, very fast west past Pier. Which no, I think is him. Mm, no, it's not. Again. No, I'm heading west. Uh, I've got a car heading very fast. Oh. Very janky. Oh, no, it's Max. Hello, Max. Uh, yeah, I forgot my color. I saw you and I'm like, hmm. Sorry. I saw, the, saw the underlighting after a second. So, where's this copy? I don't know. Um, I got taken out of the chase by somebody. Are you sure it was him? I, I don't know. It was it was a player, but it wasn't in player colours. Then I assume it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I thought it was, and then Where got attacked. Was it heading? I've lost him now, there's no point. Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's last known position could be a help. In the circle. Oh, Jump. Yeah. He's not southbound past Monument, right? That's out of bounds. Yeah. Uh, nice um, basically, movie, movie Studios is the um, yeah. south edge. I found him. He's in uh, the houses northwest of. He's on foot. Oh. Ooh. I've, I've Where? lost it. Oh, he's. Gonna, we're gonna have to that gate. Northwest of movie studios, I don't see him anymore though. Could on you the... get out and shoot for really quick so that we get. Green? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I'll follow you, Rude. I, I think we need to use that more often. That's actually really helpful. Yeah. Is this you, so Tristan, in the red top? No. Kill it. It's an AI. So basically, we're on here. I shot so everyone panicked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that doesn't mean I'm going to train. Uh, he had dark, long sleeves, if memory serves, on the character model. Oh, yeah. We pushed. Hit the rooftop to his on foot. He likes doing that. It was the ha around the houses, so we dropped a less usable. Oh, I see the guy in the red top might be murdered. Nope. Oh, I'm in love with it. I'm in Windsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to swap, Mike? <laughs> Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just climb over? Uh, this is you. I like the way you parked so close that the door didn't open properly. The door I got out of. Oh no, you, you drove up after I got out. To be honest, I wasn't paying that much attention. Oh, why did I say it yesterday? This is a rubbish car, it's an oracle. Is one. Yep. I can't believe how unlucky I was getting caught by Tristan just as a, so I started to run across the road because I wanted to grab that dilettante on the other side and you came around the corner and spotted me running like running around like a lunatic. Oh yeah. You managed to lose me. Uh, I didn't see you after I came out of the garden. Though. I didn't do particularly well at that point actually. I sort of I ran around I basically I ran all the way around the outside of the house uh, and then just came back to seeing what so I could just about see where you where your car was. I was wondering whether I should go over and try and steal it. And then you came over and got back in the car and drove off. So I went, oh, "Okay then." Hung around for a little bit longer and then went and got the same car I've been looking at beforehand. I deliberately didn't leave the uh, my car alone for too long. Okay. You know what I'm like then. Yeah. <laughs> And but I think my car was quite a good one. Ah, uh, okay, so you wanted it back. I didn't want, no, more I didn't want you to have it. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs>